Among many of the things that lie around my studio that has been given to me and uh, with some kind of defect and waiting to be fixed is this uh, Hama uh, tripod. Uh, a really lightweight and seems like a really nice tripod. Uh, but it needs one of those Hama quick lock or quick release systems uh, which is basically just a plate with a, a angled uh, ledge uh, here and here which snaps in here uh, and I've looked online and this uh, angle should be 120 degrees and from one of my earlier projects I have just two small pieces of uh, MDF board lying around which is a bit too large and I'm just gonna cut these down and just gonna cut a 120 degree angle on that side and that side and then I believe I have a few of those uh, inset screws for adding uh, a mount for cameras. So let's look at that. So measuring this it should be 44 millimeters wide. So that's a snug fit there. Um, need to find out the angle. So I this is 45 degrees angle from uh, from this line, but if we extend this line, so here is zero, the 90 is here, and this is 100 and. 35 so it should be a bit less I don't have a, a measurement tool to get the exact degrees but so this is 135 so 120 should be a bit less 90 135 120 just a bit to the a, a bit closer from the middle to 135 than to 190 so I'd say it's around that angle so I'm gonna try to cut that let's try this just disappears in there but I would say the 45 degree angle would work as well um, let's try to figure this out how long this should be there a bit too long. We fix that. There. 
almost too good. So here's a um, a mount for a camera, a camera mount that I bought on eBay for a few bucks, and. Um, By drilling a hole in this from the from uh, under here and making an outcut for this plate, it will stick up like that, and we can put that on like that. And we have, I guess, we only need one uh, screw to tighten it. So we put on the camera, and then we lock the camera to the screw with this nut. A bit more than six millimeters. These are not tools I use very frequently, but in these situations they are quite good. I don't know what they're called. As long as you keep your fingers away, you're usually okay. All right, perfect. And it should be like that. It's a bit tight to get in there, but... So... And there we have it. That is not super tight though. Let's look at this. So I've let it dry for a couple of minutes and it actually worked and it actually is quite straight and there's still a bit of space left so except for so I did this one and then I actually did another one just to try to just skip uh, that ledge because these are so thin they are 8 millimeter MDF so they actually just go in under the ledge and I also made one of 12 or 13 millimeter MDF um, and this is because I wanted to try to get it over the ledge because since I mostly use GoPros I want to add one of the GoPro quick release systems to this one. That should be a straight one, that is not a straight one. Um, anyway, so adding one of those uh, so I can quickly 
add my GoPro uh, to it. So it's one of these quick releases, like so. Um, so if we look here, just to so you understand the first one. Oh, so there we have. There we have this ledge that holds it really firm, firmly in place. We tried that with the system camera. This one uh, doesn't have that slope, so we just put it in there, and it actually fits really nice. Uh, it gets jammed in there, so that one sits really good tight as well. And here is, um, so this is the the one I did. So here is uh, about 120 degree slope, and I failed here. So this is about 45 degrees. So if I put it to with a 45 degree here, I can't close that. So that shows how important it is to have 120 degrees. But if I put it like this, it gets stuck in there quite good a bit loose I don't know that this whole screw here is a bit loose so I don't know how much of the construction is that so uh, and here we have just a wee bit of play so I can ha add this one and still maneuver this with all this set and done here is uh, what I've come up with so 44 millimeters is just a bit tight so maybe 43.5 millimeters wide like this if we take this one and and then 46 about 46 millimeters long in the base so in the bottom uh, and then the slopes should be 120 degrees both uh, as you see here like so and that is because and then depending on how how big your material is then the the upper uh, plateau is big or small depending on your thickness of the material used so hope this helped if you have a hama stand and maybe need a few more quick release uh, adapters.